Hello friends, welcome to my tutorial in relation. I will teach you on how to configure the Microtech. It is a basic configuration in this lesson. I will teach you the how to make your Microtech and your client to have the internet access for your organization. As you can see in this scenario, we have the IP from uh, our ISP and then the ISP is connect to the Ethernet port or the WAN port of our Microtech and then our Microtech share the internet connection to switch and to our uh, client. As uh, some of you have known about the internet internet uh, connection type, uh, we have the PPoE connection type. This does mean that uh, the ISP provide you with the username and uh, password to put in your Microtech or another router or another firewall and another thing is dynamic connection This means that you get the automatic IP from the ISP this is the second connection and the another connection is static IP connection this one the ISP provide you the static IP for your organizations so in today's lesson, I will teach you first how to set up the static IP connection for your organization. Okay, now we go together. Okay, so here is uh, my client PC. It doesn't have any internet access, everyone. So now I go to my Winbox. Okay, and then I connect to my my tech router. Make sure that you have to have Winbox to access your Microtech router now I connect to my router so this router is the first setup it doesn't have any thing A1 you can also use quick setup yeah it faster but I recommend you to use the manual so you will know how it's processed and if it's not work what are the issue okay so first you need to go to uh, IP address A1 now I can ping for you first whether this one is work or not ping google.com ok it doesn't work ok now I have the IP address of this user ok this one is the IP address the public IP address that I get from the ISP ok so we have to input this that's IP address so first you need to go to IP and then you go to addresses and then you click add here you need to put the public IP that you receive from the ISP ok 69 slash 4 and this one is the WAN port A1 the port that you uh, connect to your Microtech from the modem of the ISP ok click apply ok ok so now the port is connected I ping again ok it still not work ok so after you uh, do this ok I also have the scenario for you ok so after you add the IP address, so you need to add its gateway and its DNS. Okay, so the second step, we need to add gateway IP route. Okay. And its IP gateway. One okay, this one the gateway of the ISP line okay. So you see, um, the Ethernet one is reachable. After we put the gateway, you need to configure the DNS. Now I need to go to IP DNS. Okay, so this DNS I will use the the full DNS I want. But if you have the DNA from the ISP, you can also put. Let's say is I put this one. For example, this one is the DNS of my public IP, so you can also put. 
so make sure that this one is provided by your ISP okay right okay so after this you can ping again you see now the Microtech router has been accessed to the internet but for the client cannot access let's say I go to this scenario again what we have configured is only here now okay ISP to Microtech now our Microtech can be accessed in the net but your client cannot be accessed the internet yet we need to have another steps to um, make the client to access to the internet okay so another step you need to add your LAN IP address based on my scenario here okay after you do this step already okay now you need to assign the IP to your client okay to assign the IP to the client okay you go to IP addresses and then you click add this one is the IP address of my client you can assign any IP address I will assign the IP as my LAN here okay slash 24 and this one is the port that you want uh, Microtech provide to the client so okay I go this one again there are many port so you can uh, bridge all the port or you can limit only a one port okay so in this tutorial in this tutorial I will choose the my Ethernet 2 as LAN port okay and then this LAN port will use to connect to the TP-Link or any Cisco speed. Okay, apply. Okay. So now we have another LAN IP. Here is the LAN IP. Okay, and we need to uh, make the HTTP uh, server for the client, so the client can get the IP automatically. So you go to IP. Okay, I will show my tutorial as well. Okay, here. Okay, and then we go to IP, the HTTP server. Okay, so in the HTTP server, you need to click add, and then, oh, sorry, no, not this one. IP. The HTTP server, and then you choose the HTTP uh, setup I want. Okay, and then you click here, Ethernet tool. Okay, click next. Okay, so I will uh, give all my client for this IP address. Okay, I will let it default. I want. Okay, because this one I have already. Uh, I will delete. Okay, delete, and then I will make for you IP. The HTTP setup. I will choose this in a tool, okay, okay, and then here is the IP address range, okay. You can also change over here, okay. Here I don't change. Let's say is I start only fifty, okay. Next, next, next. Okay, so our DHP is um, has been success, okay. Oh, you can see after the we connect the computer of our clients to the LAN port. Our client, this, this client, we receive this one. You can see this in this. In this, is, this one is the my client PC here. Okay, I will go IP config slash all. Okay, so here is the IP address that I received from my Microtech. But you can see now my client cannot access to the internet yet. Okay. Let's see if it can access the net. Okay. So this client cannot access the internet, internet yet. I want another step. We need to do the firewall. Okay, NAT. You go to IP firewall, and then NAT. You click this one. Okay. So in general, you use source NAT, SRC NAT, and action. You need to choose max rate. Apply. Okay. Okay, so after do this, go to my CMD IP config slash release. Okay. Renew. 
connected by the bit A1. Okay, in you. Okay, you can see now my client can access to the net. I will try. Okay, call again. Okay, you see, now the client has been accessed to the internet. Okay, uh, so that's all for the lesson. I hope that you find this lesson useful. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.